Yo, what's up everybody? In today's video, we're going to be editing and color grading this image. We're going to be turning this image from this to this. So first of all, we're going to be um, doing the basic adjustments here. Um, I'm not going to touch the temperature and tint because I think it's alright. Um, I'm going to start with the exposure a little bit. Yeah, okay, I, I think that's fine. A um, little bit of contrast. Yeah, and um, yeah, I always like to bring my highlights down like up to 100 so that the eyelids doesn't come off and ruin it so the attention of the image is still on the model um, I always leave my shadows but not too much like a little bit like 50 so the attention is on the model skin so it doesn't get all blown up just be a little bit and then I don't usually turn my whites up my blacks I always like reduce my blacks by like 40 to give it that um, contrast to bring more color and then my clarity like I usually don't even touch this but let's see I'm gonna give it like 5 and saturation I reduce it a little bit so it doesn't come off too I don't usually like too much oversaturated photos so you still get that slightly desaturated look on it so yeah to my tone curve um like this is like where the most of the color grading is done i'm going to switch to my rgb channel um if yours like when you first use lightroom it usually shows like this but to switch it back for it to put points you switch you click this button yeah then um for my rgb i'm going to put three points yeah um let's see a little bit here oh that's too much a little bit uh-huh yeah i really like lifting it this up yeah see it gives more and then bring this down so we don't have blow up blown up highlights then yeah on my um red green and blue channels like where most of the power comes in is the red and the blue channels so i'm going to go to the blue first um yeah i'm going to put this down a bit a bit like a little bit yeah it adds a little bit of this the shadows so like kind of does this thing to our skin so i don't think i'm doing any other adjustments in this layer in the tone curve i mean uh, i might come back to that um, yeah so let's see without the tone curve and with the tone curve yeah, so yeah like the tone curve is really powerful i'm going to do um future videos and more detailed videos on how to color grade with the tone curve so make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever i make a new video um for the you um i usually like depends on the image like I really either reduce the you of the green or keep it up but for this image you're going to increase it to like 70 pounds let's say 50 60 yeah that's fine and then yeah i always do this to my blues like any image even if there's no blue like <laughs> i always do this i always do this and then my magenta let's reduce to like 40. yeah oh, 36 that works um yeah i'm going to reduce the saturation of the green because obviously it's too much but that's fine and then um my blues as well even if there's no blue <laughs> like but if you zoom into most of your images uh, you see some blues in the shadow so i usually like to take care of that first and then yeah my magenta as well 
your split zone in another powerful part of Lightroom, especially when it comes to color grading. Um, I'm going to keep my here of my highlights at like 157 saturation. I don't usually like to blow up my saturation, so I'm going to keep it like three. Um, my shadows. Um, this, like this, is like my little secret. The shadows, like the number of my shadows, but the shadows I like to use um, colors that are close to the skin tone, like give this brown look to the skin. I don't usually use any other color, so like this will add tones to the skin. And sharpening, I really like to sharpen my images because most of the time I'm posting to Instagram and. Instagram just your image here. Yeah. I don't need to use any of this. Transform um, effects. No, 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 no. No one does this. <laughs> and then, yeah. Another very powerful part of this is camera calibration. Yeah. So, what I'm going to be doing is um, most of the time you play around with this to see what works for you. Oh, that's too much. So yeah, keep it at 29, you see, it changes the color of our shots because I didn't really like that red. Uh, I'm going to reduce the saturation of this, but it's about like 10, so she still has a skin tone. Um, the green, so plus, yeah, you see, plus, a lot, yeah. So you see what it does to that green, like this very nice green. And we still reduce the saturation a bit. Yeah, and then my um blues oh, a bit. And then minus 10. So what's the point? Okay, yeah. So let's see before and after camera calibration. Before after. So it really gives it that very nice. Let me zoom in. Before, after. So it really gives it that nice tone in the image. So yeah, um, this is how I edit and um, color grade dark screen portraits most of the time. Sometimes I find me using Photoshop, but who knows? <laughs> so uh, make sure you like and subscribe on my channel for more videos like this and comment below thank you guys and see you next week